Praise the Lord, my beloved ones. Today, our beautiful, most amazing Lord God, Jesus Christ, has come to bless us with another beautiful prophetic word. And the Lord God says that the gold and the silver is mine. No wonder I am blessed with silver this month. The necklace that I am wearing is of silver. And this is for the first time. It is for the first time that I have done the purchase of silver, the silver rings, the silver bracelet and the silver necklace because this month is the month of opening of new doors and when I had a comeback to Jesus after backsliding, after fall down, the first word that I had received is that the gold and the silver is mine. It is this year that the promises are being fulfilled. They are coming to pass. The Lord God is keeping his promises. And for this reason, this month I started buying silver. My beloved ones, the word that he had given me many years before I believed in the word. I kept on believing in the word. This year, the Lord God kept his promise and I kept on believing it every year. Every moment I used to claim their promise and I used to prophesy that the Lord God says, the word of God says, the gold and silver is mine. And I kept on believing in it. And this year, the Lord God blessed me with precious stones as well. I remember the prophetic word few years before which I had prophesied. It said, the Lord God is going to bless you with gold, silver and precious stones as well. Because... The new Jerusalem, it is made up of gold. It is made up of precious stones according to the book of Revelation. So the prophetic word, it said that the Lord God shall bless you with gold, silver and precious stones. My beloved ones, it has come true this month in my life. Though it is not super costly, though it is not extremely costly but the Lord God has blessed me with the little what he had promised me he fulfilled it he started fulfilling it and I pray that Lord's will be done in my life he wants to see me in his glory when I the prophet of the living God when I wear the precious gems according to the leading of the Holy Spirit according to his will according to the will of the Lord and being led by the Holy Spirit. So the Lord God has blessed me with the best of the gems which are found in Hyderabad in India. And it is unexpected for me. The only thing I knew that the gems from Hyderabad in India are famous. The Lord God blessed me with those gems and it is a blessing. I remember this word. The Lord God said the gold and silver is mine. He is fulfilling it in my life. So shall it be with you. The Lord God is giving you this word today. All that you have to do is to believe in it and keep prophesying. Keep claiming. And if you have been blessed with the seed, you must seal it. Every prophetic word, you must seal it with your precious seed so that you can keep claiming it. My beloved ones, I sow the seed for every prophetic word and I wait upon the Lord for it to be fulfilled. The Lord God had blessed me with the camera to start my ministry and he kept his promises. So day by day, as you go on claiming the promises, it shall be fulfilled. No matter what it is, the Lord God will bless you with the gold and silver. He will bless you with the supporters so that you can fulfill God's will, God's promises. My beloved ones, all that you have to do is to go and buy. All that you have to do is to believe and take the faith step to keep the Lord's promises. You should maintain it. The Lord's promises you must maintain it. The Lord's promises you must give it importance you must prophesy it over your life and you must not doubt and lean on your own understanding 
there is value for the prophetic word it is important the word coming out of the lord's mouth is precious it is important when you treat it very specially when you give importance to his word it shall be fulfilled in your life but when you take it for granted when you say that the lord god says gold and silver is mine and when you don't believe it you say oh it can never be mine the lord will never give me gold and silver my beloved ones you are taking the lord's word for granted do not have the faith like the one that is for a while sarah didn't have the faith but abraham had the very strong faith the faith that values the word that comes out of the mouth of the living god what god gives me i give it to you because my mouth is the voice of the lord when the prophet is prophesying over your life when the prophet says the lord god is going to bless you with gold silver and precious stones so shall it be with you and for all those who come as trespassers only to blame the prophets let me tell you that i am prophesying only after i have received it i am prophesying only after i have received it only when the lord god has blessed me with gold silver and precious stones and it has happened this month so all those who come from other places who are not connected to my altar to the altar where i am serving the lord to my heart my heart is the altar of the living god and if you are not connected to my heart if you are coming like a trespasser all that you want to do is to blame the prophets of god if you are blaming if you are accusing if you are not believing in the word of god you are doing the same with our beloved jesus but this prophetic word is for all those who are connected to my heart and what your spiritual mother has received you shall also receive it in the mighty name of jesus as the lord god says gold and silver is mine so shall it be with you if it belongs to father it will belong to son as well if the gold and silver belongs to father it will belong to you in the mighty name of jesus receive this prophetic word so the seed you can also go to the online store and buy the anointed items so that you will have the anointed altar you will have the physical touch to the altar of the living god when you touch the items when you hold the mugs when you hold the pillow when you wear the t-shirts when you wear the hoodies when you have those items in your room in your dwelling place in your office place in your workplace when you place the items the pillows under your head on your bed my beloved ones when you keep the pillows on your sofa wherever you are my beloved ones you are getting connected to the altar of the living god and you are able to receive the anointing the prophetic word it enters your spirit womb when you get connected my beloved ones when the prophet is prophesying you must receive it believing that it is true because we know how the kingdom of god works we are connected to god and we are giving this blessing we are giving this connection as an impartation so when you have those items you are receiving the connection you are receiving the impartation and do subscribe to this channel remain connected to the anointed videos because you must maintain your connection your relationship with god do like share and comment below always commenting is your faith action sowing the seed is your faith action not only this but when you like the videos when you share it with other people they shall also be blessed with gold and silver you will receive gold and silver in the form in the way in the method by the way which the lord god wants to bless you with the lord god has blessed me with jewelry but he can also bless you with golden coins he can also bless you with golden brick 
the blessings of our beloved Jesus are unlimited. All that you have to do is to seal the prophetic word with your precious seed and you shall see it being fulfilled amazingly by your faith. As I, the prophet of the living God, bless you with this prophetic word. All that you have to do is to receive it. Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. We thank all those who are honoring the Lord with their wealth and for all the offerings. We bless you with a hundredfold of return. My beloved ones, if you have not yet received our Lord God Jesus Christ, if you have not yet received the Holy Spirit, we shall pray a small prayer because this repentance is at hand. Our Father in heaven, we come into your presence through our Lord Jesus Christ. And today we receive salvation. We receive Holy Spirit into our heart. O oh Lord, forgive us our sins and help us to be born again. We shall seek you, O oh Lord Jesus Christ, unto Zion. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. My beloved ones, with this small prayer of repentance, your sins are forgiven and you have received Holy Spirit within you. You shall walk the walk of righteousness.